He's an actor. He's a producer. He's an overall good guy. He's been in movies like The Business, Football Factory, Layer K, Calcium Kid, Batman Begins, and even more. Let's take a quick listen. So what's your name, kid? Frankie. Kid Frankie, eh? Ronnie? Frankie? Frankie? Ronnie. Sammy? Frankie. Frankie, Ronnie, Ronnie, Frankie. You met him earlier. Danny is Ronnie's pal. Ronnie is Sammy's pal, who's my partner. <laughs> it's Danny Jabril on a bit of business. I it? love it. I love it. He's been in TV shows like The Game of Thrones, uh, Snatch the Series. Tama Hussain's with us right yeah. now. Hassan. Yeah. Hassan, Hassan, Hassan is in the house. Tama, listen, brother. I saw you at a fight recently. I, you, you stand out from the crowd. There's something about you, mate. You've got this charisma. You've got this Thank good you. aura. Thank that's you. just. I appreciate uh, that. I mean, I, I've got that Marilyn Monroe thing about me, and I, <laughs> you know, there's that famous picture of her when she's standing at the other side of the barriers at the red carpet. Yes. And you, all you can see is Marilyn Monroe. So I'll take that. Chris, Not in the dress, hopefully. No. Well, I don't mind a dress now. <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm an actor. If I sign on the dotted line, I've got to do it, haven't I? Exactly. You, you, uh, you've, you've done some big things, man, and you have got that. There's. There's that infamous voice. There's that infamous sound that as soon as you hear Thomas speak, it's just yeah, like... It's, you know it. You it. know what you're in for. Yeah. You know what you're in for, right? Do you know what? It's quite funny. Everywhere I go, people go, your voice, your voice, your voice. Oh, my God, America. Oh, my God, you got a phenomenal voice. <laughs> you, you, you should do voiceovers. Well, I've got a good face for radio. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> but no, no, it's quite funny. It, even, like, when people like us do... Uh, I love London Transport, and from my house to the centre of London, where our office is, it's like an hour and a half. But you can jump on the train and be there in 15 minutes. And when the pandemic started, masks, hats, and all of that stuff, you can kind of hide yourself away. And I used to do it before all the masks and stuff, and I'd have my headphones, and I'd sit on the train... And I'll be talking on the um, on my uh, earphones, like sure. talking or whatever, and people just come tap me on the shoulder. I cap on. Tama, can I have a picture? <laughs> <laughs> you're like they saw oh, you. How, how do you know? See me? You can hide away, but you can't hide your voice. Ah, yeah. so it's always been the that voice way. is the what is voice, what's yeah. getting people to see what's going on. Yeah. Um, when did you begin acting? When when did Long, this all happen? Well, I started really late. I was never. I never wanted to be an actor. It's. I mean. There's a famous quote that if you go online and say, I always said acting's for mugs. I never wanted to be an actor. I never <laughs> inspired to be an actor. I own nightclubs and restaurants. And then I was always invested in stuff. I, you know, someone comes up, can you invest in this? Can you? And then somebody came along and said, do you want to invest some money into a acting agency? And I thought, Hmm. Why not? Am I allowed to say sexy? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a cool, sexy business. I thought, yeah, why not? I might get to walk down the red carpet and stuff. And then invested in it. And uh, there's a quite a big show in England called EastEnders. Yeah, really massive. Yeah, we know and EastEnders, yeah. I'm going to show my age now, but there was a really big storyline uh, when Phil Mitchell, this Phil Mitchell shooting. I mean, the show was that big. They actually kind of... Uh, put the Champions League games back just so you could watch this story. Oh my gosh. And uh, my agent, who is my agent now, uh, she said, look, do me a favour, please, can you go for this audition? It's the BBC. If we don't send somebody, you know, we're going to lose them as a client. I said, what is it? They went, well, it's to play a villain in East End. I went, what do I know about acting? Yeah. You know, it's one of them. She went, oh, you haven't got to send. There's no dialogue. And she said, just go along and just turn up. I said, all right, no problem. Terrified. <laughs> Literally terrified. <laughs> yeah, wow. I've turned up, and it's like a cattle market. People with scars, leather jackets, all these hard actors that were there. And, and and I walked in. It's quite funny. Julia Crampsey, I love her dearly. Um, she frequented a few of the clubs that we owned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was already. And some... we we had a company where we used to go in and clear up clubs. We had a security company back in the day. I don't want to say too much about <laughs> yeah, it. Please. And she walked in, and I walked in, and I see her, and she said. Uh, Oh, hi. I said, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> She's like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Give me a minute. And then she went and went onto the set and called the director at the time. And, she, and all I heard her say is, we've got the real deal here. <laughs> oh, this, guy, this guy's going to be... I'm, I'm like, hang on, hang on. And then, you know, I did the casting and I thought, oh, God, I'm, and I'm on my way home. And my agent, who I said still now, she said, uh, called me and said, you're not going to believe this. So what? She said... They've offered you the job. You've got the job. <laughs> got the job. Now, now, Tell them I'm dead. Tell them I'm <laughs> abroad. <laughs> say anything you got to say. I'm not doing this job. Yeah. But yeah. where I had the nightclubs and restaurants, um, a few of the guys, Dan, who played, uh, Craig Fairbrush, who played Dan at the time, he used to come to the restaurants. He went, listen, just go. Just do you it. Never know. You yeah, might. I mean, look at this. And then you've done a bunch of movies and TV shows since then, and you do it 
really well. It's not like it's someone that we would and, think. And it, it, it kind of went from there. And he went, you never know. You. And I thought they picked me up in a car. They put me in a hotel. Mm. They dress me, feed me, put this, and I deliver a performance. And I looked at the money, and I was like instantly addicted. And at the end of it, you get paid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get. Paid. But you must have had the natural talent to do it. Then I you think I'm good at it. I yeah, you are. Think I'm good at it. You think so? I think I'm good at it. <laughs> Very good. I and, think I'm good. And it just roller coasters from there. I did small. I call it pre apprenticeship work. Judge on D the bill you know and then Julie even went you know you're really good at this we're going to call you back but if you get big you're coming back you promise I said I'll be back 10 years fast forward 10 years I get my own storyline wow. so, cool, so and I go so back cool. and, and yeah so and then it just went from there the, the fame thing just went crazy because I was very lucky and there is always luck in, in whatever you do I had five films in the cinema at once ah. and back in the day there was no VOD there was no Netflix no there was nothing yeah. it was just DVD yeah. cinema three months later DVD and then everyone from Danny Boyle to Guy they just went where did he come from who is this guy That's and amazing. how did we get older so it just story. went from there and, I, and I'm God blessed for it and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm happy that I'm here now Tama Hassan is with us right now this guy um, he's going to hang out um, I've got a few more questions I want to find out why you're in Dubai yeah. uh, what's going on here uh, we, we're going to talk about your daughter because yeah. I know that she's on yes. as well that's going to be yes. interesting I'm a father oh, of two girls daughter. I want to know how that how that feels just um, uh, make sure she never calls you and says dad I want to go on Love Island <laughs> <laughs> you're very cool to make it way at this time of the morning because I know it's early for is it early for you are you, are you out of bed at this time usually yeah yeah I'll get up <laughs> when I get up you get up when I get <laughs> like up you know what? I'm, I'm that guy and I think there's a lot of us out there as men I kind of open my eyes about 5am mm -hmm. but I don't move right <laughs> you know, yeah, I, yeah. I just sort of sit back and I'm like what time is it oh, five and I'm, I'm with that guy that goes yeah I've got another four hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back yeah. in. Yeah. Um, movies, we were mentioning The Business, Layer Cake, uh, Batman Begins, TV mm. shows like The Game of Thrones, EastEnders, EastEnders, yeah. EastEnders. Um, yeah. Snatch, the series, which I, I love. We've got another clip here. Oh, you, skin boat. Come here. Oh. Me? Yes, you. Come here. Ever heard of a geezer called Tommy Johnson? <laughs> Johnson? No, I've never heard of him, mate. Yeah? Yeah. So what's your name? What? I said, what's your f name? <laughs> Dorian. Dorian? Sounds like a f I don't know. Just a name though, innit? Prove it. Prove what? Stop f stuttering and f prove it. Just show us some f grief. But now we had to use the sensor button many times. <laughs> yeah, many, what many a times. scene that is, though. Such a great scene, isn't there's it? A, there's a little story behind that. Me and Danny, I love him dearly. We've probably done five, six films together. We did a great film called Dead Man Running. If you haven't seen it, you should see it with 50 Cent. It's a really cool movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, he, I like real reactions. I like, um, I'm, un, I'm untrained, so i kind of gone through the business just creating my own way of getting reactions with people and as we walked in the toilet. Now remember we're on the radio now, okay? We're oh, live no, on the no, radio. No, no, I promise no, I just, you I just don't, I don't have the sensor button ready to go no, right now. No, there's no censoring. There's okay. no censoring. It's just a funny story. Danny yeah. Dyer said, uh, are you going to hit me? <laughs> <laughs> because we actually didn't shoot the film chronologically. We kind of shot it back to front. That, that, that scene when we're running through the tunnel at the end and uh, so I've scary. got the brick and stuff. There was a scene where we've, there's, a, there's dream sequences and he wasn't reacting right, so I've got a metal bar and I was smashing his shins. <laughs> so he <laughs> could react. <laughs> Directly. Mental Just note. Get it right. Get Never it right. I was, I, was, I was hitting his shins with a metal bar, and he was really reacting wow. the right way. And as we walked into it, he went, "Sam," I said, "What's the matter?" He said, "Are you going to hit me?" I said, "I might." <laughs> <laughs> so if you look at his face, he's yeah. terrified, and I did. Oh my goodness! But that, the best part of that scene, I think, is when he comes out the toilet and he pulls that face as <laughs> to say. What a touch! Like he yeah. comes out, he goes out, and, goes, oh, like and that wasn't directed. It was just him, so happy to get out of the toilet. So cool. You can just watch your movies again and again. I find like the oh, business football you, factory layer cake. Um, do you ever get to choose your outfits in the movie? No, you, you, you know, don't. Like to, you know what? I'm from Liverpool. We like a tracksuit, like the business, you know. So, well, we brought that. We brought that eighties culture back, didn't we? We yeah. brought Duran Duran back. We brought those eighties pop music back, and we brought that. And it was quite funny. I used to love that stuff, and it was the weirdest one. When we uh, we did, we always have a wardrobe call, as you, as you probably all know. We have a wardrobe, and we was we was in the wardrobe uh, room, and they were putting all these the Farrahs and 
you know, trim tram and all this gear on, and it felt so bizarre to yeah. wear it in that room. It was like, how did I ever wear this gear? It's horrendous. <laughs> but the minute you get on set and it, the whole thing is the 80s, we just felt like the coolest kids. You were very cool. Oh, it was just so cool. cool. So really cool, cool man. Um, why, wh Dubai, what's, what's brought you here? <sighs> it's a funny story. I mean, I hope my wife's not listening. But <laughs> <laughs> see, I was meant to come here. I'm, I'm here on a bit of business. I don't want to go into it too much. Um, I'm here on a bit of business. Um, but I said to the wife, I left four months ago. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to do a week in Istanbul and then I'm going to do a week in Dubai be home. Mm -hmm. And it was like two weeks ago, <laughs> FaceTime, gritted teeth. You do know you've been gone for like nearly four months. I'm gone. like, really? Mm. Get home. <laughs> <laughs> because time flies when you're having... I'm here on business, babe. I'm here on business. Four <laughs> months of business. Four months. Better be a big deal. What a gangster you are. How have you been away for that? <laughs> and still married. I said, well, she's just about talking to me. The kids are not talking to me. My daughter's literally disowned me. Now, talking about your daughter. We got to talk about yes, this. Yeah. This is your thing. Yeah. Your daughter, Belle, is on Love Island. Was on Love Island. She was on Love Island. I think it was a 2019 before yeah. our dear friend, Caroline. Oh, mm. oh yeah. yes. So sad, yeah. but, but she was on the she was on the last real Love Island. Now describe the moment she came to you and said, "Dad, I'm going on Love Island." You can see my teeth yeah, gritting yeah. all you, can't yeah. you? Yeah. 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 No, it was. See, the thing is, my daughter. I've got to say, it, phenomenal actress, amazing singer, an award-winning Irish dancer. She she's not like Dad. She went through the whole schooling and. It was quite bizarre when she was young. I become famous really quick, like I said to you. And we're walking down, we, you know, we're walking through the mall. And I, I still see myself as a man in the job. You know, I go to her, I come home, and I started getting mobbed, and it terrified her. So she didn't oh. want to. She didn't want to do any of that. So right. she was very young, and she took up makeup, hmm. and she was really good at it. And you know, if I've got, a, I've got a pod cast series called Family Busy. If anybody's a fan of Bells, listen to the first one of me and her because it's very moving and she's very honest and brave in it. And then she's, she's had a couple of boyfriends that were not good to her. I don't want to go into it because yeah. I'll kill them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good on you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to say their names because yeah, I'll yeah. kill them. Uh, <laughs> she, so she just turned up one day and went, Dad, I want to go on Love Island. I'm um, like, really? You want to go on Love Island? But my first thing was, Babe, it's kind of the biggest show on the planet. You're going to be really famous. I don't care. Mm. I said, what's your end game? She's 21. Yeah. I said, what's your end game? She said, I want 150,000 followers. I want five salons. I want my own makeup brand. And I want to float it and sell it to L'Oreal for 100 million. Good on What, a, what I was, a plan? I was like, mm. seriously, babe? I mm. said, but Love Island, can't you do the jungle or something? <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't watch the show and I don't have any sort of aspirations to watch it. I know the girls, everyone, oh, yeah. Love Island's on, don't call me. Do you know what I mean? So I looked and I went, I said, babe, she wants to do Love Island. Oh, it's, she can't do it. The show's already started. I was like, yes. <laughs> but she did it. What's it? Uh, I said, babe, the show started. Your time out, son, ring the producers. Uh. Oh. But the show started, I'll go in Castle Ramor. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have that. So uh, anyway, look, it was a great fit because Danny Dyer's daughter was on it the year before. And then, yeah. So they thought, and, I, and I called him and I just said, look, guys, I said, look, my daughter wants to go in there. Really? She does? No joke? Is she not going to pull out? And I said, look. And, you know, fair play to them. It wasn't dad doing her a favor. Dad can open doors, as we all do for our yeah. children the best we can. And they said she has to cast. Oh, she wow. To, okay. She has to go through the process. But she can't let us down. And look, if she passes the process, we'll get her in cash room on, and the rest is down to her. Wow. And that was it. And, so and cool. I just said to her, look, baby, I said, if you don't find love, you can't have the best holiday of your life. And Aww. don't carry words. And remember, I'm watching. Yeah, <laughs> Dad's <laughs> always there. Yeah, yeah, gotta move. watch out. Dad's always and there. It. And I supported her and I loved her and she was amazing. She was and a force to be reckoned with on that and show. And you know what? It, it, as well, from our background and our culture, it was a bit of a risk because it's not. It's kind of frowned upon, but there's a Cypriot festival every year over in North London. There's like 20,000, you know, uh, and so many young girls are coming. We love your daughter. Because she liberated them. Because she, cool. she held her own. She was true to herself. And she came out of there, 
you know, brilliantly. She's got a million followers. And I, well, I, I refused to let her do PAs and stuff. I didn't want her falling out of clubs, um, you know, drunk and Good, yeah. doing all that Good, stuff. So yeah. I kind of took that that rain on her and she's we're pushing her to be a presenter she's she's there, there are there, she's got record deals on the table people want her to do films with me and you know she's just amazing good oh. on you dad amazing. he's proud i love proud it dad. all right listen we've run out of time here but i do want to wrap it up with with something that we want to try here um Tam Hassan is with us. Tam's with us. He's great. What a what a great guy. Great actor. Continue doing what you do. Thank Please you. pop through back to the Virgin Always. Radio Studios. Rossi and I, we want to do a hard man voice off right now. You'll be the Let's judge. Let's go. Uh, now, Rossi, you, you're from England, mate. I feel like you're already 80% there. I'm Australian. I've got to work my way there. But, Ross, you're going to give 30 seconds of your best hard man. Can you put, like, some I've got some music. I've got, I've got it on. I've got, got it Come on, on, Rossi. Got it ready to go. Can I help? Yeah. Well, yeah any tips? tips? Any tips? Give me just... just. Back of the throat, gravel. Back, okay. Right. Gravel. Back of the throat, okay. gravel. I'll, I'll and cu on. always cut the last letter off of whatever you're saying. The last letter. <laughs> so okay. gravel, it should be gravel. Ross usually cuts Just off gravel. the words off. Well, 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 shall it be off. like from London or Liverpool? Don't do like that. It doesn't work. <laughs> Don't Liverpool. Okay. Right, here we go. Rossi is. Here we go. Here we go, Ross. He's walked he's out the studio. In. He's really trying. He's this. really he's like getting into it. Here he comes. He's kicked the door up. Listen up, Tamar Hassan. Where's your tool? Give us your tool, mate. Hurry up, will you? That was horrible. I'm what smiling. was that? What did you I'm say? Smiling. What did you I'm say? a little bit upset that he did a scene from Scum rather than Martha. <laughs> Where's your tool? What if he told you? I was like, I'm thinking he's going to say something from Martha. That, that was, was horrible. All, no, no, it was all right, Sam. No, but no, my dream is to be like Tam you Hassan. in a movie. <laughs> I, I, I'm not joking. Like, listen, whoever's listening, who watches my movies, it's just entertainment. Do not be like me in the movies, please. <laughs> but like, I've watched your movies religiously, and you are an inspiration of mine. Bless and the other guy from Football Factory who looks a little bit more Frank like Frank Harper. Yeah, Billy Bright. Bless yeah. him. Yeah, he's a good lad. He's well, good. Um, that was my attempt. I was laughing. Chris, I know, it's right. over to you. Chris, come on. I was Chris. embarrassed there. And another thing: if ever you're going to threaten anyone, never use their second name. Just. Call them by their first name or oi. Okay. Listen. All right. Okay. All right. Come on, Chris. What is this music? Is this frozen? He's playing Let It Go in the background. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to look at him in the eyes. Hey, champion. <laughs> Chance. I'll do it like an Australian level. we would do it. Hold on. Okay, no, but okay. Australians are tough boys. Yeah, let me do it like that. Go, just go Aussie on it. Hey, what's your problem? <laughs> you look, look at me. All right? You got an issue and you talk to me or anyone like that in the family again, guess what's going to happen? You won't even know your own name. Do you understand that? Because you'll never say it again. You get me? And if there's an issue here, you talk to me directly. You don't want to get this started. I'm not even close. Chris, just back off, mate. Hold on, now the song plays. Don't let them know. <laughs> yeah, Let It Go Frozen is a hard song. Just let because it go. They know how crazy how much, I am. How much do I owe you? I need to pay you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you had me. See? No, you we went in. It. You went in. There's a future know. there for you, bro. There's, you yes. Went in. It's you a, went in. It's the let it go in the background. It's slightly <laughs> weird. No, but that, that's the art of it. I mean, if he can sound tough yeah. with let it go in the background, <laughs> you are the next big thing, baby. Tam Sun's with us. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio.